Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to be doing a frame overview video. I haven't done any of these in a while. And this is the awesome frame. It's called the GB220 from Awesome. The company's called Awesome. Now previously some of my older awesome frames, as I remember, we're, we do have a, quite a bit of flex. And uh, this one does also as well. Um, so let's talk a little bit about the specs before going into what I found about this little frame here. Uh, one thing, it's a 220 millimeter wheelbase stretch X quadcopter. I think it's a bottom mount and you could possibly use it as a top mount if you wanted to. Overall cuts don't seem very clean actually. And um, this thing is $27, but for 27 bucks you can go ahead and go grab yourself a frog which is a lot better, a Transtech Frog, which is w way better in quality here. Everything is pretty much uh, chamfered down. Let's see if we can get the arm and upper plates uh, size here. So let's just see. So the arms are 3.89 millimeters. Bottom plate seems to be three. Yeah, 3.2 millimeters. Upper plate is 2.12 millimeters. So overall, I mean, it's, 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 to be honest, I wouldn't recommend this at all. Uh, this is just my my recommendation. It's uh, the the overall stack height you have in there is thirty one point nine two. However, for example, you know maybe some of you want to go pick up F seven. You only had like thirty bucks left, and you're like, "Ooh, this looks like a nice frame." This could cause a lot of issues because it's not very sturdy. There's a little bit of play in the arms, which I I really don't like, especially on sensitive gyros. And uh, I have an update video coming up with the F7 build. It's on a 7-inch Jeb RC Mark II. And no matter what I do, I cannot tune out the vibration issue. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and replace that frame. Even though that frame flew very nice on MPU 6000 Gyro, but with the F7, the Hollybro F7 with the ICM, mm -mm. and I even put capacitors. I thought it could be possibly noise, but it wasn't. It's the frame itself. So now as the, the time progresses and we're going to, if we do start seeing more F7s with sensitive gyros, the ICM gyros, arm play on quadcopters, flex can play a big role and dictate that you'll probably never be able to tune it, you know, possibly. I mean, I spent an hour and a half on that one, but without a PC, without the black box log, I'm um, trying to tune it out. I got it, but it's, it's, it was terrible. It was really bad. So uh, this thing. I don't know what to do with this, to be honest. That's one thing. Another thing, these, you know, were so difficult to put in that it actually, you know, left me a pretty damn big cut. Um, it was really bleeding quite a lot. That's why I ended up putting this right now before making the video. And um, yeah, so overall, I mean, I personally, like for example, for, let me tell you this. I would not recommend this to my brother. So take it however you want to take it. Um, I don't know how it flies. It could fly, it could fly one of the best quadcopters on the planet. But uh, currently, just looking at it and then seeing the overall cuts, it is a stretch X, by the way. Um, it, it does not seem of great quality at all. And um, I mean, obviously, it's 27 bucks, but there is a lot of quadcopters, a lot of frames that are 27 bucks in a lot better quality than this thing here. I and mean, if you take a look back here, I mean, they probably forgot to change the uh, end mill here when they were chamfering because it's it's really nasty. It left some scars and they probably did some, you know, uh, it was probably, there was probably strands that just ripped out here and they kind of went ahead and did it manually as I believe. Like they just took some whatever, like sandpaper and did it right there. That's how it kind of looks like because it's white right there. And um, uh, the overall, you know, the body f flex is not bad. I've seen a lot worse. But I've also seen a lot better. Now, if this thing was 20 bucks, I wouldn't come here and complain. The reason why I'm complaining is because I've seen a lot better for $27. And uh, this is just my personal recommendation. I'll just go for a frog light or something. Uh, I, I just love the frogs. It's just almost perfect tune. Every single thing I set up on that thing, it's an absolute beauty. And um, a lot of people would agree with me on that, especially for newbies. Or you just don't have time. You just want to build a quad and go fly. You don't give a shit about the tune. Set up a frog. You'll be pretty much good to go um, depending on your motors you might just lower a little bit of D and you're, that's it you're fine but overall I mean here's the frame let's get its weight right here because I know that's very important for most people 74 grams so it's, it's just pretty much average of these types of frames and uh, this is a 5 inch quadcopter if you're curious I doubt it'll fit 5.5 inch quad, uh, 5.1 or 5.5 inch props um, it could because it's stretch X but it seems it's so small here well, let's change to inches let's see so here's the center this is just a rough estimate here um 
2.2 yeah no you're gonna be pushing it even on a 5 I think so this is like a f so 2.5 because 2.5 and 2.5 is 5 inches because that's how it works yeah you're, you're not gonna just just a 5 inch maximum prop here uh, from my current little uh, test of measuring here so overall I, I wouldn't personally pay more than 20 bucks for this that's from my opinion and from everything I have seen um, overall um, I think it was very poorly executed and um, these you know the 3d printing quality is absolutely terrible um, they're really a lot smaller I think you know they made these for the other standoffs that just come flush like knurled I think knurled is the word all the way through but um, yeah, I don't think uh, these were made for it. And then I don't know what they did. But overall, um, here it is. And um, that's all I could really say, guys. So I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. I really hope someone found it useful. And I will see you next time. See you guys. Take care.